I try to get out on court and practice as much as I can, though it's not always possible, especially during winter season. So I had to find some creative ways to still practice even if I couldn't get out on a court. My garage happens to be a pretty good place to practice, meaning there's a wall and a good amount of space. There's still some cars behind me, so I try not to practice shots that require too much power, just in case a ball gets away from me. For this particular session, my main focus was working on hitting balls right off the bounce. This is something that I do okay on my forehand side, but absolutely terrible with my backhand. I'm either hitting it early and it flies off the court, hitting it directly into the net, or I'm completely mishitting it. So I thought I would film it, go over it, see if I could figure out what I was doing wrong, maybe even correct it. The reason why I'm keen on solving this is that my biggest weakness is a deep ball to my backhand, particularly a loopy topspin deep ball to my backhand. Seeing as I'm no good at taking the ball on the rise, I have no other recourse but to back up a lot and wait for the ball to come down, which is okay for some scenarios, but I would rather have an alternative solution available for when it isn't. This exercise, the best I could come up with to what I was doing wrong was not bending my legs enough to come under the ball so it doesn't go into the net and to keep my eyes on the ball till the very end so I'm not mishitting it or mistiming it. As you can see, I tried out multiple different solutions. My conclusion from all of this is that my backhand is kind of like a toddler right now. After much nurturing, it's finally learned to string a couple of steps together, although quite clumsily. It still needs time to grow. For now, if I get a slow ball and therefore have time to set up my footwork and my stroke, I can hit my backhand quite well and consistently actually, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the overall form and technique of my backhand. However, the more adversity my backhand deals with, meaning pace, position of the ball, spin, the more my consistency suffers. But I think this is just a matter of doing it a hundred thousand times and eventually it'll come. And as I said, I'm happy with my technique when I have time. Now it's just a matter of adapting it to every other situation. Finally, I decided to work on my slices, which I think I do quite well actually. They're very helpful to get me out of a jam and quite effective if done well. So here, I'm focusing on my accuracy, doing a simple drill using the two lines on the wall. I'm doing one forehand slice down the line, one cross court, then backhand slice down the line, then cross court, and so on and so forth. Now, I know this drill can seem a little tedious, but I'm a big proponent of practicing your strengths as much as your weaknesses. And honestly, a well-aimed slice down the line, curving out to a righty's backhand, that has won me a lot of points. So, despite his monotonous nature, I'm happy to make sure that this shot is on point. Whenever I'm unable to go out and play with someone, I at least go down to the garage and hit a couple of balls. It's not ideal, but hey, it's much better than not playing tennis at all. All right. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again very soon.